What's going on, guys? My name is Ian Binnick. I'm the founder of Optimizer Marketing, where we help B2B SaaS companies with their digital marketing. We build a complete digital marketing machine in 60 days or less. We're faster than everyone, and we provide really great services. But today's video, we are going to be talking about scarcity and urgency. And this is primarily for my entrepreneurs out there that are really interested in developing a really nice offer and using some psychological triggers to improve the likelihood of a client wanting to purchase your services and or purchase your product. So let's talk about scarcity and urgency today. These are tactics that a lot of people just don't use. And you can make, I think people think they're scammy. I think people think that they're, um, you know, really only used for those like kind of crappy websites. They're like, but wait, buy now, blah, 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 whatever. But there's ways of putting them where you can still stay professional, but then also just kind of be real with your, your, your prospects. And so I'm going to talk through these. I have a lot of notes here um, on what I'm going to be looking at. I'm just going to be reading because I wrote these awesome notes. And if I try to just memorize everything and then say it here, I'm going to forget something and then you guys aren't going to get as much value. So um, I'm just going to jump in. So um, simple sentences can drastically improve the number of people to act. And so we're first going to talk about scarcity. The first thing you need to do when you're thinking about scarcity is to define your business's capacity. So for example, you need to give like a literal and a psychological reason for the capacity that you choose. For example, at Optimize Your Marketing, we work with one client every 60 days. That is our business's capacity for two reasons. Number one, we're providing like a ton of value super fast and that is our selling point. And so it's really hard to work with more than one client. But then two, psychologically speaking, we're reaching out to prospects a lot every week and we have a couple calls every week. One of those calls could easily turn into a deal um, days later, if not that day, if they're really interested in the services. And so we make that very clear when we are, you know, we, we advertise it on our website. We say we only work with one client every 60 days. And we make that very clear when we're talking to prospects that, Hey, like we're not only talking to you guys, we have other people that match our ideal customer profile. And so, and just to be aware, we only work with one person every 60 days. So I'm um, not trying to like make you make a, a rush decision, but this is something that you guys will need to decide quickly if you want to get our services in the um, soon or otherwise you'll have to wait till next quarter, basically. Um, and that works really well. We've actually seen great, um, you know, we'll see a great conversion rate lift on our contact page because we talk about that. So the best way to implement that in your business as a positive is you can say only accepting X clients or only accepting X clients this week. Now, if you're a business that accepts more than a few clients a week, then you could use cohorts and cause some recurring scarcity by mentioning that the next group only has two spots left and you have six more calls today. So they should sign up today or sign up now before they miss out and they have to wait another two weeks. Um, a lot of gyms do that. In fact, the book that I'm getting a lot of this information from um, is Alex Gramozzi's $100 million offers. And he kind of talks about how he used that as a sales technique, closing people to sign up for like these personal training classes um, and just gym memberships, which is really interesting. And it works for service-based businesses that have higher, t higher ticket prices too. Um, Alex in that book also recommends these two things. So there's a pro tip number one, which is creating something that's like extreme scarcity as a potential upsell. So for example, you can sell an extremely high priced one-on-one -on -one service to one person and it's very tiny. It's a very tiny access level with extreme value. So as long as you're choosing something that isn't going to annoy you, like maybe just texts, maybe you don't want to offer, you know, your cell phone number, but you can say you can, we can always jump on a Google meet. If you have a question, that's something that can be done. Um, but if you want to make it like extremely valuable to someone and you want to give out your phone number and say, Hey, just call me anytime. But it also costs this extra amount of money. If you want that kind of level of service, um, you'd be surprised. Someone might actually buy that and it'll just result in higher margin for you. And as long as you're not choosing something that is really annoying it is very well worth it for you. Um, pro tip number two is 
include a statement about once you're out of the program, then you can never return. So a lot of people, um, they, they, there's two ways of like actually uh, throwing this out there, but there are businesses um, like mine where you might have like a recurring revenue model. So a recurring retainer that is um, paid by the client every single 30 days or every single month. And this is helpful to have because it makes people think twice before they're leaving. Um, we can also use this clause if you know someone misses their initial discovery call then we will just say like we're never going to work with you if you miss your just initial discovery call that helps people like actually show up to the call as well because that actually does happen a lot to people and other businesses that um you know that i work with that they don't have this clause on their website because for maybe a number of reasons but they don't want to give a they don't want to give up on a prospect but for us um, you know, we are very selective on the clients that we work with because, you know, quite honestly, it's not about working with the most clients, it's about working with the best clients. And if someone misses your discovery call and they just ghost you, we're never going to work with them ever. And unless, unless they just had like an extremely good reason as to why they missed the call. So that's just a pro tip number two. It's going to help increase the conversion rate again on people actually showing up to your meetings as well. Um, now that's pretty much scarcity. Let's talk about urgency. Now, urgency is extremely similar. It's instead of dealing with capacity or inventory, now you're really just dealing with time. So a lot of times you can include elements of scarcity and urgency in the same, the, in the same statement or request. Um, so from earlier, we were saying um, like gyms, you know, they may have one seat remaining and they have six calls remaining today. The second, that's, that's your scarcity element. The second element to that same statement can say, the next group of clients starts this Monday. So let's get you signed up today and secure that last spot for you. That is sort of like a urgency tactic where it's like, hey, like this starts on Monday. There's a time element involved now, not only just an inventory or a capacity element, but time as well. Now, um, there's different kinds of urgency, but they're all mostly rinse and repeat models based off of different time measures. So you can have rolling seasonal discounts or rolling quarterly benefits. Um, and all that really changes with these seasonal discounts are just the names of the offer and artificial scarcity and the time to act in the form of urgency. For example, um, again, a lot of the examples here are gyms because they were from Alex Ramosi's book and he you know, did a lot of gyms, but you know, the new, our new year promotion ends in Jan, um, ends on January 30th. That's an urgency tactic. And it's really just, you can have the same promotion rolling all the time. It's just a different name. So it gives someone a reason to, you know, purchase that discount. Um, now you can also have price-based urgency where the earlier you buy something, the less it costs. That's sort of like early bird discounts. Um, and some ninja tips to express urgency on your website is to have a countdown timer and potentially a Twitter or Facebook feed with updates on the offer regarding space and time. On our website, we have a countdown timer um, of when our services open back up. A lot of times, someone, um, a lot of the prospects that we're reaching out to um, unfortunately we'll wait too long and then they'll come to visit our site and then we have um, something that we turn on and off uh, which is a countdown timer and it's basically saying if we're in an active agreement with someone we're going to tell you how long it's going to be before we are available again and we have a little email email thing and saying like hey uh, give us your email so we'll let you know like 10 days before that this agreement is almost over that way you can get you get your name on the top of the list and we'll talk to you um, otherwise you might have to wait another 60 days if you don't act fast enough because usually we'll have a couple prospects that are willing to wait that long and they're willing to um, compete for the next agreement slot and it's pretty cool for us because we always have consistent work and we have that artificial scarcity for literal and psychological reasons um, and it just helps business overall so anyway that is scarcity and urgency both extremely um, great elements to include on your website and for your business and if you're not doing them you should try them they can really improve things but that's pretty much it if you enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe um, I say this at the end of every video but you know optimize your marketing and myself 
we are always finding new digital marketing ninja tricks that are nowhere on the internet you can't find them anywhere you can't find them in blogs there's hardly any information on them and that's because we're just at the we're at the bleeding edge of any innovation in the digital marketing space especially in kind of like the no code area too finding automations to improve things and make them faster um, is all that optimizing marketing is about and um, you know if you're looking for you know to stay updated on all of that stuff then be sure to give us a subscribe and follow us on social media but anyway i'll talk to you soon in the next video we have one more left i believe and then that's it talk to you soon have a great rest of your day peace